Hey guys, this is a quick comparison video I wanted to do of both of these flashlights. This is the Convoy M21B host, but I've got two different LEDs in here. I've got on one side, I've got the CSL PM1. Okay, that's the left-hand side, CSL PM1.F1. Right-hand side, I've got the CUL PM1.TG. So that's the white version, that's the green version. They're a little bit different in terms of the footprint. You can see it's a 40-40 footprint. The white area surrounding the die surface is a little bit larger, providing some extra heat sinking than the 30-30 footprint here. Okay, some people think that you can drive that one higher because of that. To be honest, I've not seen too much of a difference. In fact, I've seen much better overall performance with the green version. So I'll talk a bit more about that later. I don't want this video at the start of this video to be too long. It's more just the visual comparison, visual beam shot comparison near the end. But I did want to talk about, you know, what's probably right for you as well. I mean, both these lights quite similar when you get them from Convoy. They don't come with batteries unless you get one separately. There's also no clip and that, but it does come with the lanyard. Okay, so real basic, but it just provides you with extremely good value for a little pocket thrower. Um, the reason I got the green one was because I was curious to see how far it could throw, whether it would actually out throw the white version and very surprised to see the difference. Even just doing some basic ceiling bounce tests, this one here got 402 lux and the white version 263. So very significant for sure. I mean, I wasn't expecting that much difference in terms of the light output, but uh, definitely can, can see that even in person. When I measured the throw on both of these with my Lightmaster Pro, uh, with the white version here, I got 728 meters of throw, whereas with the green version, I got 925 meters of throw. I re-measured the throw again after 30 seconds of it being on uh, the green version, and I still got 894 meters of throw, which is pretty good. As you can see, same reflector, smooth reflector, bezel, everything like that, the same. UI is the same. Some of you guys be aware with Convoy, but basically there's a whole bunch of modes that you can select. Uh, mine comes with this uh, five, well, I set it to sort of five modes. So 0.1%, uh, 1%, 10%, 30%, and 100%, okay? So have that, and the, the mode memory is great as well. You only need to have the flashlight off for about one second and it remembers the last mode used. Exactly the same with this one on the right, but you can alter the modes as well to change it to whatever you want. Some people just like the flashlight to be on at 100% all the time. There is actually a selection for that as well as uh, quite a few others. So I won't go into that moment. I've actually covered that in a few other videos. Um, so in terms of overall output, like I said, this one is definitely brighter. The green one is definitely brighter. And you know, having a look at the ceiling bounce tests, I mean, 263 versus four, you know, 402 lux versus 263, really quite significant. You've got a pretty similar beam profile as well, given that the LEDs are pretty much the same. So, you know, very intense hotspot surrounded by, you know, a nice smooth circular spill pattern. And uh, the spill isn't too bright, but it's definitely good enough to get you by, you know, for pretty much anything, just walking around, seeing anything close to you. Okay. So at the end of the day, it just depends what you want. If you want a general purpose flashlight that you can use for all kinds of things around the house, uh, for throw, you, you know, I think you probably want to get the one that's white. Um, close up, this is a little bit tricky to use because it just has such long throw. But if you use it on some of the lower modes, yeah, you're completely fine. There's enough spill on there. But if you're using it really, really for close up things, then you probably want to get a flashlight that has additional more of a spill profile because these are definitely, um, definitely designed to throw, so to view objects for a long distance. But the green gives you that extra visibility, that extra throw. I mean, me, I'm just trying to look for the highest throwing flashlight that I can in the smallest package. And whether it's green, whether it's yellow, I don't care. So that's why I got this one and definitely quite happy with how it performs. It does the job in terms of just making an area visible so I can spot, see what's going on in there. So without further ado, let's go straight into the beam shots. If you have questions as well, please let me know down below in the comments. I'll get back to you. 
And before we get to the beam shots, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you want to see me continue making more reviews. I'm going to be comparing two versions of the M21B. So we've got one with the green LED, the CSL PM1.F1, and we've got the uh, CUL PM1.TG. So you'll be able to tell which is which just due to the color. So that's your normal and white. And you've got green. Look at that. So, I mean, the green, just looking, you know, even through the camera, it's hard to tell, but it does out throw the white significantly. If we have a look at that tree there, for example, get that other LED on there, it does out throw it. And this is also, the green is also running at six amps and you've got eight amps for the other, uh, the other one. So six versus eight amps and it's still producing significantly more lumens and uh, out throwing it as well. Look at that, on the top of that tree line, maybe we can catch on to this top part. You can see that very, very easily. Maybe here, let's just compare. So the green, you can see that green is just a little bit more intense. You know, the, the lights also begin to ramp down slowly over time. I find the eight amp white PM1 is uh, so it's almost just too hot to hold after a while. Try and just have a look at some of the back ones, the trees in the back. Just have a look at the difference. That just a touch more visibility. And if you don't mind the green, if you don't mind the green, all things being equal, it just out throws. They're both fantastic throwers. The white one is starting to struggle to hit that bit there. Can you see? That little slither of tree in the back. It's getting really hot as well. Jesus. The green one's still fine to hold. Completely fine. But the 8 amp version, start, it's getting really hot down the battery tube. And that's why I recommended in a previous video to probably just buy the 6 amp version diminishing returns after that six amp you get a bit more brightness but a lot more heat more inefficient so there you have it if you have any questions let me know